everyone, it's Norma again, and obviously I'm getting a lot of reviews up today because I'm frantically trying to finish up the remainder of my fall candles because I want to break out my Christmas ones and start my Christmas decorating. So it's like it's now or never to get these reviews done because they're they're down to the end now. So next up is a Kringo candle, and this is in the scent pumpkin patch. Isn't that a gorgeous label? I have to say, you know, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. You know, I, I branched out in the last couple of years, been trying a lot of candle companies, but as far as the packaging and the labels, Kringle wins hands down. Um, they are struggling a little bit in the throw department, which I'll get to in a minute here, but let's read you the scent description. The scent description for Pumpkin Patch reads, Simple pumpkin goodness, accented by spicy ginger, clove, and a suggestion of sugar gourmand notes, distinguish this autumnal arrival. Now, this does have the actual scent notes listed. The scent notes are top, spices and vanilla, the mid, cinnamon bark, clove, spicy vanilla, and the base, gourmand, and spicy. And, and it actually doesn't say it has pumpkin in it, which is kind of funny, but um, what does this candle smell like? Well, I definitely get the notes that they have listed. I get the, the vanilla. It's like a spicy vanilla to me, actually. I don't really get a whole whole lot of pumpkin although I do get a, a, a tad bit but it's not like um, it's not like Yankee Candle spicy pumpkin I can't even think of a candle to really compare it to it's not a, a super spicy pumpkin candle so if you don't like a lot of spice like you don't like Yankee Candle spice pumpkin you don't like their pumpkin ginger bark this might appeal to you more because it isn't, even though it has some spice in it, it's not super spicy. It's more of a creamy pumpkin, um, but it's kind of just like a generic. There's nothing to me that's like really like stands out. It's like, you know, when you, when you pick it up and you open it, you're not going to like, oh my God, I want to lick the wax type of pumpkin. It's just a nice generic pumpkin. I think this scent would appeal to people who probably don't burn candles all the time, but they want something, you know, to celebrate the fall season. They don't like really heavy, spicy scents, and they don't like really strong candles. And there is definitely a market out there for this type of candle. For me, this was just blah. I was kind of disappointed in it, and I probably wouldn't order it again. Um, I didn't get the melts. I don't know if the melts might be a little bit better because it's a pleasant scent. It's just, it's just nothing to me special. There's a lot of pumpkin scents out there that are better. And I am one of the people that I do like a strong, spicy pumpkin. Um, this was just a little bit bland and boring for me. Um, as far as the burn, I didn't have too many problems. This one was a slow burner. It did take me quite a bit to um, get this one to finish off because I, I, I do believe I started it at the beginning of the month. And even though it's a two wick, um, it's taken me a while. I have had a little bit issues um, you know, with some residue just because, like I said, it's been a very slow burner. It hasn't pulled out quickly. Wick's struggling a little bit, but not too much. I mean, this is... Um, uh, the second or third burn today I think it's, a, it's on its no it's, it's, it's a second burn um, and the flames were getting pretty high so I had to blow it out and trim the wicks to the review and as you can see it's also at the very end I mean this is definitely its final burn now one thing with the Kringles I mean this candle will probably go all afternoon because they do tend to burn down to the bitter end I mean they don't leave a lot of leftover wax so you definitely, you know, use up your whole candle. Whereas some other brands, you know, they would stop at this point already. But no, this one will keep burning all day long. And it's going to finish because I need to finish it. 
but um, the throw, you know, it's a light thrower for me. I have it in my computer room and I can detect it, but mostly if I walk in and out of the room, if I'm sitting here, I can't really smell it. And in a larger room, it, it completely got lost. So I basically, um, I did have this burning in, in my big room and it was a blender with all my other pumpkin scents that I had going on. Because on its own, it just, you know, it wasn't strong enough to handle the larger room. And like I said, it's doing okay in here, um, but it would have been better if I had two of this, if I really, really wanted to smell it in this room and have it fill the room and spill out into the hallway. But this is the only one I have, and like I said, I probably won't repurchase this one. If I did, it would be for the label. To tell you the truth, the label is just simply gorgeous. But um, like I said, for me, there's just other pumpkin scents out there that I prefer because I like my spicy pumpkin. Anyway, there you guys have it. I do have one more fall candle to review, and then that's it for all the fall candle reviews. You know, we're gonna go full mode into the holiday sets. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.